Here we are back at Race Mountain Speedway. We've got an exciting event for you here today. The final three heats in round one of the British Invasion Car Tournament. That's right, we've got three heats of racing, each one four laps. Today's open track racing is brought to you by MagTrack, a new toy car racing system by 3D Botmaker. Our first heat of today features three Aston Martins, one McLaren, a Jaguar, and a Morris Wagon. Let's go ahead and look at who will be driving. Up first we have Emery 5 JDM driving in the Aston Martin DB10. This car was shipped from across the pond by My Hot Wheels Collection. Up next in the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 in white is All the Round driving for the Guitard and Broke Racing Team. Going back to the second row we have Murano Novianto driving in the yellow McLaren F1 GTR. This car is sponsored by Michael's Diecast Garage. Driving in the Morris Wagon is Wagon Man 65. How fitting is that? He'll be driving for my Hot Wheels collection. Going back to the back row, we have Red Cowboy 95 driving in the red Aston Martin 177. He'll be the second driver in this race for Guitarded and Broke. And last up is Sasalu Jayasing driving in the 1963 Aston Martin DB5. He'll be the third driver in this race for My Hot Wheels Collection. So we have three drivers for My Hot Wheels Collection, two drivers for Guitar and Broke, and one driver for Michael's Diecast Garage. The drivers are ready at the start. Let's go racing! A tight group going down the ramp. Emery 5 maintained the lead out of turn one, followed by Murano Novianto. It's a tight race for first. Oh my, Emery 5 gets slammed in the merger. That Aston Martin is taking a beating out there. Great driving by Novianto in that McLaren F1. Going from third place, look at this pass right here at the end. Boom! Emery 5 JDM getting rejected there. Red Cowboy 95 gives him a push past the finish, so he will hold on to his second place spot going into the second lap. Wagon Man 65 also passing the finish line right there. He'll be in third place going into the next lap. Here we go with the start of lap two. Murano Novianto pulling ahead, followed by Wagon Man 65. That McLaren F1 GTR looks fast on the track. Whoa! Murano Novianto with a very fast lap. Wagon Man 65 moving up to second place. It looks like we got a four car stop over there on turn two. It's going to be Red Cowboy 95 in third, Emery 5 JDM in fourth, Jaya Singh, and then all around. You can see Red Cowboy was sideways going into that turn and just blocked everyone else. Here's the lineup going into the third lap. We've got Murano Novianto in the McLaren and Wagon Man in second place. Novianto leading down the ramp. He's pulling way ahead of the rest of the pack. That car looks absolutely unstoppable. Red Cowboy 95 moving up to second, followed by Wagon Man and Jaya Singh. Emery 5 and all around getting tangled up in the merger. It's gonna be interesting to see who gets that second and third place spot. Remember the top three will advance on to round two. As far as the first place spot, this race looks like it belongs to Murano Novianto. Novianto pulling ahead again, followed by Red Cowboy 95. It looks like that's gonna be our first and second place, but who's gonna take third? They're coming around turn two, and it's Wagon Man 65 pulling in third place. Murano Novianto driving the McLaren F1 GTR for Michael's Diecast Garage had such great control over that car this entire race. He was consistently fast throughout the laps, handled the turns very well, and I think he's going to be a real competitor throughout this tournament. Look at Wagon Man 65 with the pass on Emery 5. Wagon Man driving for My Hot Wheels Collection. And the second place spot in this race goes to Red Cowboy 95. He's in that Aston Martin 177 driving for Guitarded and Broke. Don't go anywhere, we've got a lot more racing today after the break with Heat 6 and 7. The ILCN NASCAR are teaming up this Sunday 
but would the can achieve 500 here at Slap Out Oklahoma? ILCN NASCAR presents the Canna Cheese 500. Introducing the new 3dbotmaker.com website. Get up-to-date information on the racing league, tournament schedules, upcoming racing events. Join the members-only forum to show off your cars, your track, and discuss everything about diecast racing. That's 3dbotmaker.com, the home of diecast sports action racing. You're watching the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League, the home of Diecast Sports Action Racing. Here we are back with Heat 6 in Round 1 of the British Invasion Car Tournament. First up is Garage of Engines driving the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. He's driving for My Hot Wheels Collection. Next to him is Turbo G22 driving the Lotus Esprit. This one has those FTE wheels and was sponsored by League of Speed. In the second row we have the Beatles Morris Mini driven by Antonio Puerto Rico. He'll be driving for Guitarded and Broke. Next to him is Brendan Ruiz. He's in that 2015 Range Rover Evoque. This one is a matchbox and was sponsored by the Bayou City Diecast Raceplex. Back in the third row we have Diecast NZ driving the Aston Martin DBS. This one in that nice purple. This will be the second driver in this heat for Guitarded and Broke. And last up is NASCAR Fan 48 driving the white McLaren P1. This car was sponsored by Hot Wheel Racer Mike. We've got a Jag, a Lotus, a Morris Mini, a Range Rover, Aston Martin, and McLaren all in one race here. Who's gonna take those top three spots? Turbo G22 pulling ahead with that FTE car. A little drifting coming out of turn one, and he's all by himself. He loses control there, but he's able to make it past the finish line. And it looks like that's Brandon Ruiz followed by Garage of Engines and then NASCAR Fan 48. Let's see who's missing here. I don't see the Mini. Diecast NZ stuck over there on turn two. Oh, and there he is, Antonio Puerto Rico in that Morris Mini. He falls all the way back to sixth place. Here we go at the start of lap two. Turbo G22 pulling way ahead in that Lotus Esprit. He spins out. He's going in reverse now. Man, he is just bouncing all over the place. Oh no, he stopped right before the finish. That is a dangerous place to stop your car. Oh my goodness. These drivers have no consideration for how expensive these vehicles are. I mean, come on guys, use your brakes. Once again, we have another Mini having problems. He didn't even make it down half the track. Look at that back and forth action by Turbo G22 in the merger. He's really lucky that wreck wasn't worse. Here's the lineup going into lap three. We've got Turbo G22 and Garage of Engines in the front row. Turbo pulls way ahead, coming down the ramp. Brandon Ruiz gets turned around back there in third place. Turbo getting a little loose there after turn two. Oh no, and it happens again. Turbo stops right before the finish. Oh, and that is what I was talking about. You cannot stop in front of the finish line because these drivers will just keep going. And what happened to Diecast NZ and NASCAR Fan 48? They're stuck door to door over there on turn two, and this time the Mini doesn't even make it past turn one. Here's another look at that wreck. Turbo does pass the finish line, so he will hold on to that first place spot, going into the fourth and final lap. Right now it looks like it's gonna be Turbo, Garage of Engines, and Brennan Ruiz, but who knows, here we go with lap four. NASCAR fan 48 pulling up into third place. Turbo and Garage of Engines make some contact. Turbo G22 still holding on to the lead. He's got first, followed by NASCAR fan 48 and Brendan Ruiz. 
A surprising turn of events there as Garage of Engines got stuck over there going into turn two, opening up a spot for NASCAR 48 to pass him. NASCAR Fan 48 starting off this race all the way back in sixth place. And he will be going on now to round two. Turbo G22 dominating this heat, but he really needs to work on his control. His drifting after turn two almost cost him this race multiple times. Turbo G22 is driving for the League of Speed. NASCAR Fan 48 in the white McLaren P1 was driving for a Hot Wheel Racer Mike and Brandon Ruiz for the Bayou City Diecast Raceplex. We've still got one more race for you today, so don't go anywhere. After the break, it's Heat 7. Red Pill Racing, back again at Race Mountain. Three of the best diecast builders, Michael's Diecast Garage, Nick Deaver's Racing, and Red Pill Racing. Battle it out in the most anticipated race of 2019. The Stinger, Wagon Queen, The Mad Tatter. There won't be any lightweights here because it's a clash of the heavyweights. All three cars together bring us to 500 grams of combined weight. These cars have been tuned, polished, sanded, strategically weighted, all in preparation for this night. Who will move on from this epic race to challenge the king? Tune in as these three giants of diecast racing leave it all on the track in Modified Madness Night. Only here on King, king of the, the Mountain. Mountain. And here we are back with the seventh and final heat of round one in the British Invasion Car Tournament. Up first in the 1963 Aston Martin DB5 is Christine Car World. Christine will be driving for Nick Deavers Racing. Up next, starting in second position, is Aiden Orth in the 1965 Austin Mini Van. This car is sponsored by Guitarded and Broke. Going back to the second row and also driving for Guitard and Broke is Frank Miller in the Morris Mini. Can a Mini make it into round two? Frank Miller is our last hope. Next to him is the third driver for Guitard and Broke in this heat. It's Blood Rocker driving the 08 Lotus Evora in that matte black finish. Going back to the third row is Fami Che Annie driving a red McLaren P1. This Forza Motorsports Edition car was sponsored by My Hot Wheels Collection. And last up in the McLaren 720S is the Kraken, driving for Rehabilitoy. We've got one Aston Martin, two Austin Minis, one Lotus, and two McLarens. The last heat of round one is about to begin right now. Agent Orth pulls ahead down the ramp He's side by side with Blood Rocker. Blood Rocker pulling ahead in that Lotus. It's a close race down here by the finish. And Frank Miller tries to pass there at the end in that Morris Mini, but he gets bumped back to fifth place. Fami Che Annie in the red McLaren P1 goes from fifth all the way up to second place. Aiden Orth finishing in third, followed by the Kraken, who moved from sixth place up to fourth. We've got a Lotus McLaren battle up in the front row. Blood Rocker and Fami Che will be leading us down the ramp in lap two. It's a close race going into turn one. Blood Rocker gets spun around coming out of the turn. He's going down the track in reverse and he's slowing down a lot right here. Is he gonna lose that first place spot? Yes, he is. Fami Che Annie pulls ahead as the Kraken comes charging through to take second place. Blood Rocker falls back to third. And we've got some drivers on their roof. That's Aiden Orth upside down in that Austin Mini Van and Christine Car World in the Aston Martin DB5. That was a hard hit right there. Those two are gonna go to the back of the pack, which means Frank Miller will move up to fourth place. We've still got two laps to go, so anything really can happen out there on the track. 
Right now, Fami Che and the Kraken will be leading us into this third lap. A close group going through turn one. Fami Che gets sideways, giving the Kraken an opportunity to take the lead. And the Kraken will be leading going into the final lap. Followed by Blood Rocker and Fami Che Annie. Frank Miller holding on to that fourth place spot. Followed by Christine Carworld and Aiden Orth. I'm really not sure who's going to take first place in this group. We've had a different car lead every lap. This time it's the Kraken in first place. Can the Kraken hold on to that lead to secure the win? Blood Rocker gets into the back of the Kraken and Frank Miller pulls ahead in the Morris Mini. Will we have a Mini make it into round two? Yes, we will! Frank Miller gets it done. Who said Morris Minis can't be good on the track? You've just got to have the right driver behind the wheel. And it looks like we only had two cars past the finish. That means we're going to have to have a race off between these last four cars for that third place spot. But look at Frank Miller passing on the inside of turn one. Just pulls ahead, maintain this lead. Look at him go around turn two. Beautiful maneuver and control over that car. Frank Miller was just waiting for the right opportunity. He saw it going into turn one and it paid off big time. Frank Miller driving for the Guitar and Broke racing team. Here we go with a race off between the last four drivers. Blood Rocker in the lead, but Fami Che passes him by. Fami Che losing control. And it's gonna be Fami Che Annie taking that last third place spot going into round two. Fami Che is driving for my Hot Wheels collection. Also, congratulations to the Kraken and the Rehabilitoy Racing Team with that McLaren 720S. They'll be going on to round two as well. And that wraps up the action for Heat 1. We started off with 42 cars. We're down to 21. Round two will consist of four heats, which should be coming up soon. Also, make sure you tune in for Modified Madness Night. That video should be premiering this weekend. And be sure to check out 3dbotmaker.com to join the racing league and get access to updates, information, discussion forums, and contests. Until next time, I'm 3dbotmaker, and I'll see you on the track.